Hi everyone and welcome to Coin Treasure Hunt. If you'd like to learn a little about the objects, faces and places on the back of UK circulated coins, find out which commemorative coins are rare, sought after and worth more than face value, and to seek out the hidden treasures a lot of people miss, or you just love coin hunts, then I invite you to subscribe. Right, today I'm going to be doing a 10p coin hunt. And uh, that's basically that. Oh yeah, I've got um, a mix of sealed bags and fold top bags. And I did have a spillage last time when I did my 10p coin hunt and I realised where it's from. There's another one, split. But these bags are really old. <laughs> How long have they been lying around before, what you call it? Before the 2018s or 2019 alphabets came out? I hope not. <laughs> but anyway, there's, I, I put someone in, in another envelope or in another envelope and another bag and blah, 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 whatever. Anyway, on to it. Let's go. I may as well start with this bag here. I think there's some over there loose that I'll just add in because they were in the bottom of the bag, so I'm guessing they were part of it, I don't know. They're part of some bag anyway. So Tempe coin coin hunt. Let's dive in. Right, I'm gonna separate the Britannias and the shields because it just makes my job easier at the end. I'm looking for like, oops, and I'm doing it wrong already. <laughs> doing, it, doing it completely wrong. There we go. No change from the norm then. <laughs> I should have left these bags out of the way actually while, uh, while I'm sorting the coins, but. Anyway, looking for the alphabet coins. Hopefully, hopefully I get some. They've really, really dried up lately, so I haven't had, I had one in, in quite a few hunts. And to be honest, some of the hunts, I think about three of them or something, I haven't, uh, I haven't uploaded because I didn't get anything. So on the last one, certainly the last one that I published, I did get a find, but it wasn't an alphabet one. But hey, listen, I'm never. I'm never upset about that. I'm always happy just to get a find in 10 P's because it's actually very difficult to find anything in it. <laughs> you know, they're not like 10 P or they're not like two pounds or 50 P's where there's absolutely loads and abundance of commemoratives to find. You know, these things are particularly difficult to find anything in. But hey, you know, you got to keep searching and, and hoping, you know, and I really, really want to get a set of the alphabet coins. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep on doing it until it drives me bonkers. So yeah, 2018, 2019 the dates we're looking for. Because those are the dates for the oops when the alphabet coins came out. And also NIFC dates, 93, 94, 98, 99, and actually 2020 will be in an AFC as well. Well, and also 2018 and 19 would be definitive NIFCs. So they would be ones that would only come in a pack. There's also the the two pence that's the same colour as a tempe, but uh, I think that was just a kind of a, a one-off that happened, or maybe there was about ten of them. So chances of finding one of them are very, 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 very unlikely. I might continue this video on a little bit longer if I don't find anything because um, I have a, another few bags from like um, fold top bags that I can go through I don't know, another 40 or something but I'm sure hoping I do get some finds <laughs> I'd be so happy to see enough of that coin again Obviously, there's essentially two sets to get, you know, because there's two different dates. But 
I would be more than, more, more, more than happy to get uh, a mixture of both dates just to get one complete set. You know, the date doesn't really matter to me too much. If I do get different dates for um, the same design, brilliant. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry if I don't. That's for sure. It's proven more. It's proven difficult enough to get one full set. Here's the first Grubmeister. There's always one, at least. <laughs> and there's the lowest mintage. I didn't mention that today. There's the lowest mintage Tempe coin as well, which is uh, the one with the crowned line. And it would have a date of 19 or 2008 on it. That's the lowest mintage. 9,000 or 9 million, 9,000. <laughs> 9 million, 780,000. No, 9 million, 740,000, I believe. Another Grubmeister. Oops, getting ahead of myself. Come on, Alpha Coin, you're very shiny. What year are you? 2007. So if that one was a 2008, it would be the lowest mintage. Another grubby monster. Oh, is that 2018? No, 13. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly always only spot them when they're on the reverse, you know. I don't ever kind of catch the dates that much. Another one. Good grief. I'll have a lot of crud coins at the end, but no, uh, <laughs> no alphabet points. Speaking of crud coins, there's another one. The crud coin of the of the uh, of the hunt award again. Keep going to the wrong area. Pumping everything now. Uh, these aren't everybody's favourite hunts, the, the, the Tempe hunts, because they just, you know, I mean, the finds are so rare, you know. <laughs> so you're waiting ages to see one, another 2013. I'm starting to think just very few of these got into circulation, you know, they were all kind of snapped up before they went in, but... <laughs> by people who got their hands on them first, you know. It certainly seems that way because they, they're just so, so rare. And they certainly don't seem to be about in regular circulation. Not that I get Tempe as very often, I have to say. Like, you know, in change or something, you know. So we're all using our cards mostly at the moment anyway with the coronavirus, so... That's what all shops want you to do. Let's pause there for a second while the telephone decides to go up. <laughs> Still languishing on about 13 different designs that I have and uh, haven't added to them. Let's try a, a fold top. You tend to get um, territories coins in these ones more often than not. Not not more often than not. Sorry, that's not exactly that's not what I meant to say at all. Um, more often than you do in fold top or in seal bags, is what I meant to say. 
people coming back off holidays and when we used to be able to go on holidays. <laughs> In this topsy turvy crazy world. But you know what I mean when when people have come off holidays and they bring back like change, like literally coins that they can't kind of change or a bureau de change or something, then you know, if if it looks like a ten P or if it's from the territories they'll just kind of throw it into a bag to fill up a bag. Which, as I always say, I'm more than happy to be the recipient of. Oops. Yeah, I can find where that one. Always want to hope them for a find. I say, you know, all it takes is only one, which is true. It does only take one coin to make a or to make a hunt in the ten pairs. Oops, I've dropped another one there. Where are you? Alphabet. You know, beating up old coin there. As per usual, my cat wants to join the hunt. Search continues. Oh, yes! At last, at last, at last, and it's a new design. Yippee! Woo -hoo -hoo. I'm so happy with this one. Oh, this is the one I wanted. This is one I really, really wanted. I'm a fish fanatic. I absolutely love fish. Love fish. And that's even better than it looks on the thing. I never even noticed the ribs on it. Oh, that is terrific. I love it. I love it. Yes. What date is it? 2018. Okay. Cool. Oh, how awesome is that? How awesome are all the chips? <laughs> that is magic. I just was totally caught by surprise. I, I just honestly don't expect to get them anymore. <laughs> yes. And a new design as well. Yippee. Look at that. Oh, you little beauty. You little beauty. I suppose it goes that way, so. Yeah, because the F is up that way. Oh, sorry, I just can't let it go. <laughs> just in case it disappears. That is a fabulous find. I am so, so, so delighted. F for fish. F, F for fish and chips. <laughs> fabulous, 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 fabulous. I say that, that really is it's all it takes is just one and then it completely transforms the hunt and i am a very 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 happy bunny now <laughs> it's been a long time coming honestly i've got i think it's three um this is a roll top or fold top whatever you want to call it Yeah, it's been such a long time, you know, and I've got three of them <laughs> I haven't even posted. Oh, now I'm complete. See? Told you. The minute I get fined, it just absolutely fries my brain. <laughs> yes! Where are you going? There you go, there. I turned out, I just literally wasn't expecting that. I think I was going to put it aside because I was less like, so... Just, uh, hey? <laughs> what? Oh. 
Could we get a could we get another one after that drought that I've been on? As far a drought as far as um alphabet coins are concerned. You know, I have had territories in between. That's it man. Hunt made. Hunt made. Let's move these out of the way. No idea how many I've got left or anything like that. Not got a clue. It's just... They're just insanely rare, you know? <laughs> it's just... To see one. And it's one of the ones, honestly, I want all of the designs. But it's one of the ones I really, really, really wanted. Was the, was the fish and chip one or is the fish and chip one that I've got? So stoked. So happy. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. <laughs> what that little piece of metal means to me. <laughs> I wouldn't tire of getting that design, I can tell you. So cool. Such a great collection. And they really are. It was a great idea to do that. The person who decided to, who came up with that idea, well done. This is a top idea. Oops, you were in the wrong place. Don't even know where you're going. Not here. There we go. Gotcha. I can think of some more things that I'd like on coins. But, uh, you know, I, I think because it's like the alphabet and because there's like, you know, there's 26 different ones as well, you know. And it's it's like it's a real, real challenge. You know, of course, you can go and buy them, can't you? You know, they, they'll be expensive to buy because essentially they are 10Bs. Their face value is 10P. So they're, they're going to be expensive to buy because you won't buy them for 10P, that's for sure. But, um... You know, that's that's not what I want to do. You know, of course I can do it. Of course I've got the money I can... I can buy them, you know. It's not going to break the bank. But it's it's the fun of it. It's the challenge of it and it's the fun of it. And I suppose sometimes it's the frustration of it as well, you know, of, of trying and trying and trying. But then it's the absolute elation when you do get one, you know. But I felt right there. Oh yeah, okay, there we go. Two more bags to go. Oops. <laughs> I'm taking a sneaky look down to make sure it's still there. I don't know where these bags have been but they you know they've been in the wars because they've got crunched and bashed they must have been about it for a long time well not a long time you know what i mean for i don't know i just don't know they certainly got bashed about a bit that's for sure who cares <laughs> who cares <laughs> they had a another grubmeister and they had an alphabet coin in it that's all I care about. <laughs> and a fabulous one of that. A little tune to myself. A tune of utter delight. There you go. So on to the final bag now. So they actually exist. Let's 
started to believe that it was all just I had to actually look at my other alphabet coins to um <laughs> to convince myself that they were actually a real collection <laughs> that I didn't dream them up or something. <laughs> but then again, as you know, as as I've mentioned before, you know, I only do half bags. So, you know, it's 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 you know, less of a chance, isn't it? You know, I don't know where I'm going now. It's less of a chance to get them, obviously. Far less of a chance. You know, it's it's fifty pounds worth of ten P coins, you know? As opposed to a hundred or two hundred pounds, you know. If you're gonna be doing that many, then you know. It'll obviously increase your chances a great deal. Another Grubmeister. Good grief. It is the uh, coin hunt of Grubmeisters. Well, look at that. Right, last little handful. Oops, you've gone the wrong area, haven't you? Of course you have. Wouldn't be my coin hunt if I didn't mix them up. Although, obviously, with uh, putting them into one them into one Definitive, the the older definitive into the treasure box does the uh, treasure chest does make it easier at the end, even if I mix up a few. And that's that, but that's a very very happy ending to this coin hunt. Yes. <laughs> right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look for the uh, low mintage date and see if there's uh, possibly any NFCs, but I'm uh, certainly not keeping my fingers crossed for that one. <laughs> And just to delight at my alphabet coin. Well, well, I didn't find any key dates or NAFCs. But, uh, well, let's start off with first my new award, which is a crud coin of the hunt award. <laughs> I'm certainly had a few contenders in this one. <laughs> Look at those crud meisters. Good grief. I mean, where do you go? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Crud coin of the hunter. Oh, that one looks particularly. Or is that just colour? That one. Ah, that, I think that one has to get crud coin. So crud coin of the hunter ward goes to this beastie here. Who knows what it is really. But they all get an honourable mention or a dishonourable mention. So there we go. Enough of that nonsense. Right. I can barely believe myself. I can barely contain myself. Yeah. <laughs> look at that look at that that is absolute magic when one day's appears it's just like honestly it is literally it is literally like somebody's just cast a spell on my hand <laughs> a good spell <laughs> oh i just love it absolutely love it absolutely love it a an alphabet piscatorial delight is what that is Fantastic. 2018. Absolutely wonderful to get another one again. Finally. Yes. <laughs> right. There we go. So. <laughs> I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> but it's safekeeping now. So by now you should see a selection of my videos that YouTube have suggested you might like to watch if you enjoyed this one. So star coin of the day, I didn't even say. Yeah. Is obviously this alphabet coin here. So I have no idea where it was now. Yeah, so the, the videos that YouTube suggests you might like to watch if you enjoyed this one. And up in the right hand corner, as always, the beautiful X marks the spot Tempe coin that will help you to subscribe. In the meantime, everybody, I wish you happy hunting and I'll see you again for the next coin treasure hunt. Yeah, yes! <laughs> see you next time.